Whether he's breaking or wrecking it, Ralph's got the internet's attention. We're going to the internet. What? Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top three things you missed in the Ralph Breaks the Internet Wreck-It Ralph 2 trailer. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're breaking down Easter eggs and other details in the first official trailer for the sequel to 2012's Wreck-It Ralph. Milk my duds! It's Wreck-It Ralph! Number 3. Internet Easter Eggs This is the most beautiful miracle I've ever seen. In the anticipated sequel, Ralph and Penelope venture into the hyper-colorful and busy world of the internet. From Cisco to Amazon, there's no mistaking some of the most clicked-on sites. But some, like Twitter, are given a bit more of an anthropomorphic touch, with birds chirping about Grumpy Cat. We're only beginning to get a glimpse of how the folks at Disney are depicting the internet world, but it seems to be a giant hub like New York City, with specific districts for each category such as social media. And Nose Moore's autofill habits are a bit too on the nose. I'm pretty sure he's just trying to guess what you're gonna say. My autofill is a touch aggressive today. Let me try. Take me to a website that's super intense and really nuts. Number two, voice actor cameos. If Nose Moore's voice seemed familiar, that's because it is, especially in the world of Wreck-It Ralph. Ergonomics, urban outfitters, er cool. Alan Tudyk has become a mainstay on Disney's voice acting roster, starting with Wreck-It Ralph as King Candy slash Turbo. I'm Turbo, the greatest racer ever. Maybe the fact they share a voice shouldn't be overlooked. Aside from returning voice actors, Taraji P. Henson has joined the cast as Yes, the foremost authority on what's trending. Uh, yeah, but break the internet, it's like a thing. Right, it's just wreck the internet kind of sounds better, doesn't it? Mm, you're not wrong. But we know what you're thinking, that princess scene. What kind of a princess are you? Uh, Do you have magic hair? No. Magic hands? No. It was hinted at during the 2017 D23 Expo, but all the living voice actresses have come back to help bring their characters into the 21st century. Though they seem a lot more woke than we expected. Hi. Ah! Whoa, whoa, ladies, I'm a princess too. Number one, Disney. This is why we're calling this movie Ralphie Player One. If you needed some perspective about how many beloved properties Disney actually owns these days, here's your shot. Ralph and Vanellope head to Oh My Disney, which, if you're any kind of Disney fan, you'll know is basically the BuzzFeed of Disney. Ah, oh, come on, princesses and cartoon characters barf! What they see when they get there is a cornucopia full of nostalgia. There's Eeyore, Kermit, a bunch of Star Wars stuff, Iron Man, Luxo Jr., Fantasia Mickey, Dumbo, The House From Up, Lilo and Her Sister, Woody and Buzz, Peter Pan paraphernalia, and The Good Dinosaur. Basically, name something Disney owns and it's probably represented. And that's not even mentioning the princesses. Phew! Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.